Okay, we're talking about the NetExpert XG. This is Softing's cable qualifier. The specific aspect of the NetExpert XG that we'd like to talk about today is the tester's ability to do a BERT test, a bit error rate test. Cabling is often susceptible to EMI and other issues, and the ability to do a BERT test allows you to identify cables that are susceptible to the, that EMI. What we have here is a test set up with a, um, uh, a three-phase motor and a drive, and we can control that speed. Uh, we can ramp up the speed of the motor and down, and when this is happening, EMI is inevitably produced. Now, the point of this testing this cable is, is to show when EMI actually affects this cable. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. In other words, if the cable is good enough to, to, be, uh, to not be affected by that EMI, um, you don't have to worry about it. But inevitably, it does happen. And it happens quite often in industrial environments in particular. So the XG is going to run a series of tests, uh, some BERT tests where they're just a BERT test and also a full ca cable qualification test that includes a BERT test and let you know It'll let you know if that BERT test passes or not. Very handy test. We'll show that to you. Okay, to get to the BERT test, go into Tools section. Work your way down the left menu, third choice down, BERT. There you can choose the uh, 100 meg, 1 gig, 2.5, 5 gig, or 10 gig test configuration. You can also choose the duration of the BERT. You can set this to be ran continuously if you choose to do so. I want to choose something that gives me a little bit of time to, to see uh, any errors, um, uh, but, but not too long as to be prohibitive. And now I'm ready to test. This particular test, we've chosen a one gig speed. I've got the cable in hand. We're a very short distance from the EMI source. Let's see how it performs. Okay, our results here. This cable at this proximity to our EMI source is actually a passing one gig cable. You can see the full wire map, sufficient. You can see the length of each pairs, uh, each of the four pairs. You can see uh, the delay you can see the signal to noise ratio of each of the pairs and then most importantly at the bottom you see the BERT which is zero errors. Let's repeat this test, same cable, in a slightly different setting. So with this cable test, this arrangement, obviously close proximity to the equipment here, um, we're, we've got eight errors. So this cable is not sufficient for this, for this environment. What you should do as a user in this situation is obviously substitute this cable for another cable, repeat the BERT test uh, or the full cable qualification test with the XG. If it pulls zero errors, you should be uh, confident that it will succeed in the application. But a great example of what the XG does, keep in mind that other testers, basic testers, do not perform this BERT test and simple wire map tests of the cable will not tell you if there are issues such as being shown by the NetExpert XG.